that you've come to our first lesson today. We are learning about ukuleles. All right, so many of you may not know me. I am Kara Taylor, and this is my first of many instrument intro videos. So I'm super excited to be doing this segment with you guys to just give you a little taste of each instrument, piano, ukulele, guitar, flute, piccolo, harp, dulcimer, tin whistle, some other instruments. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of this fun. First off, today we're gonna talk about why is ukulele so amazing? Um, it is debatably my favorite instrument. Um, it is so much fun. It is easy to learn. It's easier on your fingers than guitar. There are only four strings in comparison to six as well. The chord structure is a lot easier to learn. It also has a super happy sound, so you just kind of want to pick it up and just start playing. Anyone can learn this instrument as well. I've taught from ages four to about 84 <laughs> ukulele, so anyone can do it. It's also super easy to sing with and to write songs with. So I'll also be showing you guys a video about how I write songs with ukulele. Um, that should be super fun. And lastly, it is portable. You can bring it anywhere. It's not like a grand piano, right? So you can just pack it up in your bag, take it on a road trip, take it to the beach. Um, it's a good time. So the soprano is the most traditional size is 21 inches long. The soprano also has this G, C, E, A tuning. I have two ukuleles here. One is this Luna Concert. It's got some fun design things going on. This one is a little bit bigger than the soprano. I like it a little bit better because since it's larger, it has a fuller sound to it. Um, this one is portable as well and it is good quality so I definitely recommend and then my favorite of all is this tenor Cordoba um, it also has a pickup and a quarter inch jack so I take it busking with me and I can plug it up to my amp and um, put up my mic and we're good to go this one is 26 inches and it has even more frets this one is my favorite because it has a much richer and fuller sound Next, after the tenor, comes the baritone. The baritone is 30 inches long and it has a different tuning. The tuning is D, G, B, and E for strings of the guitar. And then after the baritone comes the bass. The bass is from like the 2000s, so it's a very new invention. And that tuning is E, A, D, and G. So same as the bass guitar and it is just plucked instead of fully strummed. Which ukulele do I recommend for someone starting out? I would personally recommend either a quality soprano instrument or um, a quality concert. So um, if I had started out on this Luna concert, I would have been very, very happy with this. This is an amazing instrument to start out on. Um, the nylon strings are great. They don't break that easily. That's the thing. I started out on a soprano instrument and it broke. So um, it was not very quality either. So make sure that you get quality. Go to local store, try it out, see what your preference is, and then you can buy it there. Let's practice tuning up our ukulele. So the tuning for your ukuleles. My dog has fleas. G C E As you can tell, it is on the sharp side. It is to the right of the zero in the middle. So that means that I need to bring it down a little bit. So these top pegs here, this G is sharp. So I'm gonna bring it toward me and it'll bring it lower. I'm trying to get it like at the zero here. All right, so there's our G. Ah, that C is sharp as well. The more quality the instrument, the easier it is to tune. So my tenor ukulele is easier to tune than this one. 
just how the pegs function. So it takes longer to get this one in tune. All right, they're both green, we are good. All right, again, it's sharp, I'm bringing it down. There we are. And then lastly, the A. Now that we've got our ukulele in tune, let's go ahead and learn a song. So we're gonna learn You Are My Sunshine. It starts out with a C, which is third fret, this bottom string here. And make sure that when you play, it's nice and curved. Your hand looks like a C, and your thumb is back there to support your fingers. And you're gonna strum with the pad of your thumb from the top string all the way down. Our next chord for You Are My Sunshine is C7. So we're just gonna move it down. First fret, I like to use my first finger here. So finger numbers are one, two, three, and four. Since our thumb is on the back of the ukulele, we don't count that as a finger. <laughs> next up we have F major. We're going to move our finger up and then our second finger is on this top string here, second fret. Strum all the strings. Here's our F major. And then just one time in the song we have G. You're gonna put your first finger right here, second finger, and then you're gonna make a triangle and put your third finger right there on that third fret. There's our G major. My favorite way to play G major is what's called a bar chord. So you're gonna hold down multiple strings with one finger. So I'm gonna do a bar chord with my first finger and hold down all three of those strings. I'm gonna support him with my second finger here just cause he needs support holding down that bottom string. And then just like before, I'm gonna add our third finger here on the third fret. So I find that that's a lot easier to transition between chords. So if I'm going from C to G really fast, instead of. So if you get the hang of it, it's super fast. So now let's sing You Are My Sunshine. Let's do it together. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And there it is. Thank you guys again for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I would love to answer them. I hope that you learned something today. If you did and you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when my new videos are out. And thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.